In Ghana, the pre-2004 years was marked by a lot of corruption within the forest sector. Um, governance was not really anything to write home about. Corruption was rife. And uh, yes, it was a big problem. The, the forest sector is in a, was by then in a major, major crisis. Um, the, the, the resource was not really sustainable because we're logging far more than we're supposed to. And there was no means of checking. Now, the VPA introduction in Ghana was seen by the Forest Watch and civil society in Ghana as a means of, or as a vehicle for driving home certain reforms within the forest sector. Now, the VPA recommended specifically that certain reforms be in place in Ghana. One of them is that we need to reform our policy, we need to reform our governance framework, we need to be able to track the kind of wood that are um, exploited so that we know clearly that the sources of wood are legal. And we've also, I think the VPA also recommended that we need to um, have firmer agreements of clarify the kind of tenure, uh, land tenure systems or arrangements we have in Ghana. And all these are kind of reforms that are very important for forest governance. Thankfully, due to the VPA implementation in Ghana, most of these reforms are taking place. Last year, we were able to conclude major parts of our forest policy review. And in that, we had a lot of civil society participation right all through. There, there are currently two types of law reforms that are going on in Ghana. The, the, the short-term reforms, which will address certain short-term needs like establishment of the Timber Validation Council and then the division, which will issue flag license. The division will actually issue flag license and then the council will arbitrate issues of um, non-compliance which are reported. And I think all these, all, all these processes are going on with civil society participation and those things are good signs. So, so, so I think for in, in terms of what kind of impact, there has been some large, large level of reform within the forest governance framework in Ghana and civil society has also been a major player within the, these reforms in Ghana. So I, I think the VP has actually doing, done a lot of good in Ghana.